This report takes a look at the role that physical activity plays in children and adolescents' health. As it turns out, physically active children have better brain health and they may even perform better on tests in math and reading. Physically active children are also less likely to develop diabetes or to become overweight. They're less likely to be depressed or to have anxiety during childhood, but also over the course of their lifetimes. For schools and communities that want to provide and promote health and well-being among their students, but also want to help them learn better and achieve more in school, it's important that they look for ways to provide physical activity each and every day in the school environment. Health scientists tell us that children and adolescents need to spend about one hour each day involved in physical activity. But we know that only about half of youth in the U.S. are actually getting this much activity every day. We also know that children who are more active learn better and they're less likely to become overweight or develop diabetes or hypertension later in life. Schools are traditionally a heart of health in the community. They provide many important health services like breakfast and lunch or immunizations or vaccine programs. Schools are an important place for providing health enhancing and health promoting activities and programs because they are the one place where you can find almost all children in the United States five days a week for anywhere from 7 to 12 hours, regardless of background or socioeconomic status of the students. For this reason, it's important that schools provide physical activity for their students. Parents and teachers, schools and communities, and governments should advocate for and create a whole of school approach to physical activity. A whole of school approach means that all children in the school environment have access to 60 minutes of physical activity each day, with half of those minutes coming during the regular school day between the bell to bell period, and then the rest of those minutes coming from before and after school programs. In keeping with this approach, all decision makers and policy makers, which includes parent-teacher organizations, state, local, and community governments, and school administrators should consider the importance of physical activity in all school-related decisions and policies. Finally, the report recommends that the U.S. Department of Education establish physical education class as a core subject in schools, making it similar to other foundational courses like math and reading. <laughs>